Welcome to Ace MTG and day two of the streamer Kumite. And yesterday we had some fantastic matches for the best of one standard. But I have to say, the match of the day belongs to Max Damage and Sleeveless. Max Damage was going with a Boros Human and Sleeveless was going with a Boros Convoke. And it was a really tight matchup. Just small little things separated them, but Max Damage was able to get an intrepid adversary, bump up his whole squad, and was just a little too large and was able to take the victory in that one. But it was a really fun matchup to watch just to see that little small just change. That little small boost was what really took it over the top for it. So it was a very compelling match, at least for me to watch on that one. Now, for day two, what we have in our second round is going to be standard artisan. And those of you who are not familiar with that is, artisan just means you could only use commons and uncommon. So you could use any common and uncommon you want in all of the standard that we currently have, which is gonna be a lot of fun because it's gonna force all of us to put on our brewing hats a little bit. Can we make a nice competitive deck with only those commons and uncommons? So many of our used to, you're sitting there with a deck with, I don't know, 30, 50 different rares in it. And most of our lands are all rare as well. So now we don't get to use any of those. And yet, I think a lot of us are going to come up with some pretty competitive decks that you could actually go put on the ladder, go against those other top tier decks and get some wins. I know a lot of people in this stream are Kumite. They love doing some budget decks and they will showcase it often on their channel as well. So I can't wait to see it. So let's go ahead and talk about our round two matchups. First up in round two is myself against Max Damage. We were both able to get that victory in round one, so somebody's O's gotta go in this one. Then right up after that one, we're gonna get MTG Brew Lab going up against Mithros, two experienced YouTubers who've been doing magic content for a really long time, so I can't wait to check that one out as well. The third one up, we have Sleeveless going up against Mana Man. And for our fourth and final match of round two, it's going to be Hand of Justice against Mythic Mike, one I cannot wait for. Mythic Mike, if you check out his channel he does so many different styles of budget decks so i feel like this artisan round is going to fit right into the thing he naturally does so let's go ahead and jump into our second round of standard artisan round two fight well if these avatars are indicators uh we both got a little bit of aggro here and you being on the play uh, not not a fan not a fan <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it kind of luck went my way on this hand. Oh, not all me. Right, all right. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to have to mold. Oh my gosh, that's not a much better, but we'll we'll keep it. We'll keep it. We'll, we'll see what happens. I can't wait to see. This is a round. I am just so excited to see everybody's different decks. I think there's just so many fun ways you could go with Artisan. Absolutely. Yeah, I had to look up exactly what the rules were and then I <laughs> built a deck specifically for it today and I was just like, "Yes. Where where has this been?" <laughs> yeah, I, I had like four or five, and they all seemed like so much fun. And then I was like, "All right, well, you know what? I'm gonna go with old, old. Well, not not old trusty, but a deck that I know works well mm -hmm. because it's worked well just on the ladder in the past few. I don't know, maybe even a month. So, ooh, here we go. Gotta love double Kamano right there. That's awesome. Yeah. So I actually forgot about Kamano. It was about 10 minutes before we started. I was like, wait a minute. How do I not have Kamano in this deck? What am I even thinking? <laughs> I, I've even talked about it. It was like, if every, let's say every color had to have one card banned from it. I think uh, Kamano should be banned from Mono Red if I had to choose one. <laughs> like, That's a good contender, actually. <laughs> you know, oh. Really, it's the sort of too many red herbs. Like, Kamano just worked so well. Well. All right, so I was, uh, so the, the deck I'm going with, it's going to be ruined right here because it is the Picnic Ruiner. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> so my whole whole plan with this, though, is like, I, I hope Artisan not it too much removal and then I see ossification on me just because this deck is so linear, right? I don't have a whole lot of game plan. It's either I got it and I go or you run me over. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, even in the Mythic Ladder, I mean, the thing has just stomped sometimes. Uh oh, I'm having search side issues. Uh oh. Are you still good on your end? Yeah, my end, I, I still look good. So you, on Arena, you're frozen, or? Yeah, it just says wait for Oh, yeah, no, I, I swung in with my Kamano. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I might need to alt out, alt four, alt F four out and come back. Oh, in. yeah. Oh, reconnect. There we go. I always hate that. It's like, you'll look at everything. Your internet speed's great. Everything's going great. And then it's like, yeah. no reason. We're still 
<laughs> we're still on this call together. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure you weren't going to block anyway. So even if it does end up, oh, am I frozen too? Like, I mean, I haven't even got the, oh no, the damage went through. There it goes. Okay, so you, are you back in then? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, because I, I, I don't think you were going to block there, and then it's on your turn. You'll have quite a while, so. Actually, when you do these challenges, I don't even see the little timers. Is there no timing out when you do a a challenge one? Uh, when it's a challenge match, yeah, it doesn't give you a timer. Oh, interesting. Yeah, you have to go tournament match, I believe, okay. for that. Oh, yep, it's doing it again. Oh no. oh, no. Oh, it looks like it's trying. <laughs> That's so okay, weird, we too. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, I'm good. Let's go this route. Okay, yeah, because I'm still curious what you're going with. Like, there's part of me, I'm like, okay, some you got artifacts, blood token artifact, really wide. What's our big pay? Oh, wait a minute. Are we talking, what is his name? Oh, that's nice. Nice. Okay, so I was thinking, what is that guy? The 3 2 Haster? Um, mm, mm, mm. Who, who yeah. gives everybody the plus one, plus oh? Because I, I, I see your. Recru your Imidane's recruiter? Yeah, thank you. I see your whole squad getting big, so. That isn't uncommon. Oh, that yeah, I thought that was a rare until I looked it up. I was like, huh. Um. <laughs> uh, Okay, this is this is the explosion of this deck, and I, I just drew my green mana source, which I've been lacking the whole game. But it's like now it just makes miserable blockers for you because I get to yeah. kill your four four if you decide to block there, and then I luckily get in my kimonos, or it's like you take out a kimono and and take seven. Right. <laughs> oh, this it's, it's not good either way. Okay. And I think this is it. <laughs> that's it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That was the gamble. I mean, and that's the explosion. But I mean, even if you block the other way, I mean, uh, geez, I could still throw it on anyway. And it's still yeah. almost game. It's yeah. 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 So I had so many fun I, ones. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with the thing that actually wins in Mythic. It literally it's the only thing you have when you play it normally is all your rare lands. Every other card is a common uncommon. So. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting on the Imidane's Recruiter. It's in my hand. You'll see uh, that when you see the edit. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I knew it. I was like, look at this big board. I don't have time. I was like, I got to draw this green source. And then luckily I hit it right there. So, well, GG's. Thank yeah. you for playing me. And uh, yeah, yeah no. Boris Convoke. <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead. Boris Convoke, Boris Aggro. The, Boris Convoke is an archetype that um, the Rebellion took to DreamHack recently. And None of us did well with it, <laughs> except <laughs> except for the Dark Stream, who uh, qualified in the last chance qualifier and went to the RCQ the next day. Oh, nice! And did like he went like six and four, and that wasn't good enough to make it to day two. But six yeah. and four is not bad. Yeah, uh, six and four that's solid day. for going there. Yeah, yeah. So there's something to this archetype. I suspect it'll get a boost uh, when the next set comes out as well. We're getting like a like Thraven Inspector, I think. 100 percent yeah and this is a round i just can't wait to watch everybody else's because i had so many fun ones i had all oh, sorts yeah. of artifact decks i wanted to go with and things like that so really oh, excited yeah. for it and this is only two rounds in so good luck on the rest of the kumite and i will talk to you later to you as well see all you right. later bye round two fight formerly known as twitter i huh? appreciate it Oh, Ooh. Nice. That's a that's a keeper. Oh, it's a tough one. I am Can't wait to see what you're playing. Yeah, <laughs> see I I could kind of maybe make this work is the debate. But it's also slightly risky. I'm I might try it. It's that's probably not the best keep, but I'm gonna I think I'm gonna run with it. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Oh, this is a good one. Patchy boy. Yeah. Yeah. 
You're gonna need that. Uh, I mean, yeah, white's got the right kind of removal. Yeah, we'll see. I feel like I've played a variant of this list that you have before, which is nice. I really do like this one. Oof. Mm. Oh, shoot. Oh yeah, of course. I keep expecting Adeline, and then I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> depending on how, the, depending on how this goes as well, though, you're gonna get a, uh, you'll probably laugh a little bit, but we'll we'll see. Hmm. Oh, there you go, good old gingerbread. Ooh. Very nice. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Uh -huh. Yeah, you see, I, I just went one color because I was like, no way. The, yeah. Without the dual lands and all of that, it's tough. It It is. Like, yeah. Like yeah. Almost like draft. Question is, I do that. I finally got some damage in. <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> That's any first strike. Only. <laughs> the problem is it comes back as a flyer, but... Uh... I think, oh yeah, and it gives water down. Maybe I should have left so that. two <laughs> damage. Oh, oh. Oh, the misplay. Oh, yep, that's right. I was thinking 1-1. One, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, there's a... Wait, yeah, the young... Yeah, it was... It yeah. only... It's when you attack in. It doesn't give you the boost to the 1-1. One, one. Okay. I also thought you got me that. I was talking about my misplay. Oh. I sh where I should have gone for the, you know, the 4 damage one. Oh, yeah. Question is... Still get our first striker. Oh. Let's see, it's not going to matter for me. I have to block both. Oh. Painful. Even if I would have not misplayed, I think you were still good though, because the power level's too good on your team now at this point. Like some of these, I mean, that's kind of the beauty of Artisan now that I've played it a few times. Yeah. It's just like uh, you really go back and rediscover some of these incredible little uncommons. Yeah. Well, and I've I've actually played a variant of your. Uh, artifact list here before in the past but it, it's been a while um definitely a good one to run with and there's been a lot of really fun support for, sorry i should have just no while i'm while i'm talking um the last couple of sets like specifically lci in my opinion is a uh, like that dousing device yeah it goes really nice um uh, we've got the, um, the poetic something poetic. It's a three mana enchantment that whenever you cast, so kind of similar to the, the wording on patchwork. It's these cast triggers, not ETB triggers yep. for artifacts. Uh, it's, I've got something brewing. Round two. Fight. 
rip off when I'm playing with my mic. I know you can't really see it for the viewers, but got blue here. So here we go. All right, let's go. All righty. I'm interested to see what, um, I don't really ever, I never, before we kind of like did this, I never really agreed to, or not agreed, but like I never really knew what like artisan, I never like put much thought into it. So I'm eager to see what you got going on here. We might be pretty similar. <laughs> Great minds think alike, I guess. I don't want to do this. What's the best one men to play? I guess I'll just match you. There we go. Great minds do think alike. Hmm. Well, I guess I might as well use it. Ooh. Ginger brew. We'll go ahead and keep that. Huh? And make it make it double. Double the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we got white, okay. Come on, Ooh. No trades, no trades. Cool. Patchwork automaton. Okay, yeah, we. I can already tell for sure. We we're definitely in the same vicinity. <laughs> Let's go for it. Gotta hit you with it. Oh, car is absolute gas. Oh, good block there. Let's go. No block. What's better? Pumping that up. That might be better. Else, uh... Ooh, there we go. Okay. Mm, bang, bang, 16 to 10. Alrighty. Let's see here. T -t 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 well, I guess we'll just kind of kind of play the tempo e game here. I guess I could. Hmm. I guess we'll just go for speed here. This could end up biting me a little bit later. So she have a counter, but we'll try this out. Sure. Okay. One card left. Put the old broody down. I think the only thing to do is kind of swing in here. Let's see, like a vert. Let's see. Uh, sure. Oh, nice. Definitely want that. See what we can discover. Fingers crossed. Delver. Okay. The rock. Oh, Delver's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, Delver's crazy because like Delver's like um I don't play a whole lot of like modern or anything, but um. Isn't isn't Delver like really good in modern or am I crazy? He was. He's uh really good in legacy. Oh legacy, I got you, I got you. Yeah, but I started with a Delver deck in modern years and years ago. What do I have here? Modern. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, I never really I never really played a whole lot of uh like modern or legacy or the yeah, so I'm very unfamiliar with those formats, honestly. Which may come as a surprise. <laughs> Siren, okay, okay. Reign of Truth. Uh oh, okay. On the brute, probably gonna be unblockable. So I am on a clock now. Hey, no, that is what I want to do. Hmm. Attack with everything. Three, four, five. But that could be rough. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, we do get the flip. Unfortunately, I do Ooh. get the, yeah. Uh, get the. All right. I got to see what I want to do here. Um, If I f just kind of go turbo. Um, bounce you. Just like I got to hold up the ginger brute. So ginger brutes can trade. Aberration can go through. I don't know if I really want to give you another map token here, so. I think, I think we'll do something like this. 
I mean, Chico's Reign of Truth is definitely scary. And pass. Here we go. Nope. Alrighty. That's a problem. Um, I'll put this. Yeah, I think I'm in trouble. Live. Okay. Well, let's try this before you go for it. Let's see. Or two. Hmm. I don't think that fitting hope got me. There's not a whole lot I can do now. Ginger root. Land. But you just block it. He has haste. <laughs> Yep, might as well trade there. That'll go. And... So yeah, the, the double fading helps there is pretty hard, especially me being on the play. Definitely rough yep. break there. But... That's pretty close, though. Round two. Fight! Yeah, man. Mythic Mike, I hope you've got a great hand here, and I've got a good hand to start, so I hope your hand is great too. My hand's too good. I, I apologize. I love it. <laughs> That's great. Can't wait. Give me your best shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so mine is similarly a little unique for mono red. <laughs> Although, yeah, being a second on the play here is kind of, you know, <laughs> on the draw is a little bit rough <laughs> against the big new crooner. Oh, man. It's going to be fun. All right, so I think, let's see how we want to do this. I think we're just going to come at you here with um, another. There are another Kamado Faces Kakas on here just to see if we can push through a little bit. Although I'm terrified of this thing getting a double <laughs> strike and all kinds of nonsense. I guess we're going to find out here if we experience like a turn three kill. <laughs> okay, we, we, we might indeed. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, turn three, 23 damage, baby. That's right. <laughs> Sorry you were on the draw that one. So, and seeing an artisan is so cool. So, <laughs> Awesome. Well, good game. Sorry you were on the draw. I definitely had the advantage. Oh, it's, and... it's all good. It, it, uh, it's, yeah, it, it happens. No worries. But <laughs> congratulations there. Good match, super quick, but... <laughs> yeah, well, great game. Um, well, I was thinking we Welcome back, and what a fun round that was. I absolutely love Arson. It's probably gonna be our shortest round we had, but we had a few interesting matchups in there. Probably the most competitive one was gonna be Man to Man against Sleeveless, but I have to say, the match of the round has to go to Mythic Mike and Hand Adjusted. Mythic Mike was able to get a turn three kill in Artisan Standard, absolutely unbelievable. I don't care what deck you're playing with. If you're able to get a turn three kill, that is absolutely phenomenal. Now we had a very similar mindset going in. We 
We both went with the Picnic Ruiner, but Mythic Mike was able to just curve out absolutely perfect. You couldn't ask for anything more. Turn three kill, I love to see it. So that one's gonna have to be my match of the round. Tomorrow, for round three of our Streamer Kumite, we're gonna go with pretend there was rotation. So a lot of people were very unhappy that Wizards decided to go with a three-year rotation. I know some of the streamers in here, they really wish we rotated those cards out in September. So I'm gonna give everybody their wish, and we're all gonna pretend, at least for one round, that standard had rotated. So now we only have six sets to be working with, brewing with, and figuring out the most competitive deck we could possibly go with. So until then, never forget, you're an ace.